WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Friday, three hours left to go in the trading week. And we have a relatively calm market as in nearing flat, but we've had volatility in both directions this morning. Right now, you have the S&Ps negative by three points, trading at 28.75. We get the Dow Jones up 25 points. Dow had been down negative 200 or even more than that coming into the opening bell. Uh, Dow up 25 points, trading 25,886, and the NASDAQ negative 28 points at 78.70. Gold contract negative $10.70 at 127550. You got oil negative nine pennies at 6278, and the dollar index up 102 ticks at 97.780. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So quite an acceleration, as we've been saying, right out of the opening gate. 9.30 this morning, we're trading 25,631. We're now up more than 200 points from that level, made it as high as 25,946, currently 25,885. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar action. We trade higher from the opening bell. Highs at around 11.15 a.m. this morning, backing off a bit, 75.69 the NASDAQ 100. S&Ps, we reached a high at about 11.15 as well, 28.87. We're now 12 points about off that level, 28.75 in that June S&P contract. Crude oil backing off a bit on a couple occasions. We were up there 6.30 this morning at 63.63. .63. And then at again about 11 a.m., 63.58. Then we saw quite a little sell-off, about a dollar to the downside, reaching a low within the last hour of 62.53, currently trading 62.78. Gold contract trading lower, going for session lows that we had pretty much right at that 12.75. So we'll, we'll see where we trade from here, but gold trading 12.75.55 and the euro US dollar 111.63. In terms of some of the movers and shakers out there, jump over Pinterest. Quite a number on their earnings last night, but getting a little bit of a bid, as in that 11% had been as low as 24.74 last night. Some of the chip stocks aim at, spiked higher on their earnings, pulled back a bit, and then traded higher. Cisco as well, trading higher at about 1%, and Tesla with some woes as another story of their autopilot. Tesla down more than 4% today. Stay tuned, folks. We've got our man Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour. And Tom O'Brien finishes off the week live at 3. Stay tuned, folks. Have a great Friday.